Let's talk about all the stereo settings to make your car speakers sound better for free and also a bunch of stereo settings that people change and they think it makes your speakers sound better but really it makes them sound worse so let's get started right now two years ago i made a video very similar to this and whenever i watch it i'm just like man i need to remake this video so here it is so most people have a stereo in their car which you can change your stereo settings that could be an aftermarket head unit like this one or your factory head unit where you can just click adjust or whatever and you can change your bass and your treble and those settings like that so I'm gonna talk about first the settings that a lot of people tend to change and the things that they're doing wrong that might make their speakers actually sound worse instead of better so all too often people go straight to their bass setting they go right here to bass level they click this and they go like this all the way up to the highest se setting that it can go. And what this does if you just have stock speakers is it puts way too much strain on your speakers whenever there's bass in the song and it ends up just sounding really rattly. So first thing you should do is go right into your bass level settings and make sure it is not up all the way. You can, while you're listening to music, change it to whatever sounds good to you. But typically plus two uh, or plus one I had it at in the negatives because I have a subwoofer and I didn't want to put too much bass into my speakers because they're just mid-range speakers. I wanted my subwoofer to handle all the bass. So very similar to the bass level, if we go right over here to the treble level, I see all the time people turning this up way too high as well. So the treble actually amplifies the high-pitched sounds in your song, like the snares uh, and the taps in your song. So if you have this up too high, it's going to be really sharp in your ears and it's really just not going to sound good. So again, this should probably be close to zero, maybe one or two. Um, some people even run it in the negatives, but again, I think the best way to figure out your speaker settings is by changing, adjusting these settings, playing around with it while you're listening to music because it's really subjective what sounds good. The mid-level setting is another one that a lot of people change without really knowing what it does and they'll put it up all the way or down all the way. And the best way to explain what this does is just by listening to it because it's hard to explain. Alright, so first we're going to listen to this with the mid-level all the way negative. You see it's at minus 8. Let's listen to it now. Alright, now we're going to go all the way from negative 8 to positive 8 and then play the song again. All right, so you could hear that having it all the way positive eight made the background instruments louder, whereas all the way negative eight it was mostly bass and all the background instruments were pretty hidden. Don't have this setting all the way positive or negative. It should be somewhere in the middle. And if you change that, if that was all the way positive or negative, it's going to make your speakers sound a whole lot better. All right, so after all the bass, mid, and treble level settings, you have EQ Pro where you can really get into the specifics about your sound. So you can see here, uh, you can go into the mid central frequency and the mid-central level, the Q factor, all of those specific settings that I'm not going to talk about in this video because they're a little complicated, but I can make another video. If you guys are interested, you can leave a comment below and I'll make a video describing what all those do. Moving on, preset EQ is a super simple way to make your speakers sound better. You can click on this and it has settings that you can change that makes your speakers sound better depending on which you choose. So top 40, jazz, powerful. They'll all have different bass, treble, and mid settings like already preset so that you don't have to worry about it. You can just choose one of them. So you can play around with those and that could be a super simple way to make your speakers sound better. So moving on to bass boost. This is a way that you can boost the bass between certain frequencies. So mine just has level one, two, and three. I usually keep mine off or level one, but that's another way you can boost your bass if your speakers can handle it. And then moving on to loudness, this doesn't actually make your speakers louder if you turn it on to level one or two. This actually just maintains the sub. Jeez. Loudness actually allows you to listen to your music at a low volume and it maintains that subwoofer um, sound in your music so you don't have to turn it up to get the bass 
you can keep it low and the bass will still be in the music. Moving on to balance, this is one of those that you probably just want to leave at zero. This determines how much power comes out of the speakers from the left to the right. So if you have it all the way to the right, then all the sound will come out of your right speakers and opposite for the left. And then for fader, it's the opposite of left to right. So fader balances your sound from front to back. So if you have it all the way to the front, all your sound will come out of your front speakers. So obviously this one stays towards the middle. A lot of people actually put their setting two clicks to the rear, and that just kind of makes a deeper sound if you have more sound coming out of your back speakers. This is all per personal preference, so play around with it and see how it changes in your car. So next is subwoofer set. And this setting is just to tell the head unit if you have a sub or not. So mine's set to on because I have a subwoofer plugged in. And then now, since it's on, I can use the subwoofer level setting and the detailed set setting, which those settings wouldn't be there if it was set to off. So obviously the subwoofer level, you can make your sub louder or quieter, depending on your preference. And detailed set, you can look at your high pass filter and your low pass filter, which just helps further fine tune your speaker sound. So those are all the speaker settings that you can change to make your speakers sound better. But there are also a few really cheap ways that you can make your speakers sound better with a few products that I'll leave in the description. First one is called polyfill, which is like a stuffed animal filling material, which you can put behind your speakers in the speaker box, and that helps to reduce rattling. Scientifically, it makes the enclosure that it's in seem bigger than it really is for the sound waves. It's a little hard to explain, but it makes your speakers sound a little cleaner. The second way you can make this speaker sound better for pretty cheap is with sound deadening. This is obviously like that sticky matte stuff which deadens sound, so you can keep sound in that, does, that you don't want to leak out, and you can also keep sound from the outside from coming in. And finally, this last one is a little more expensive, but it makes a huge difference. And that would be if you want to have the best sounding speakers, you should get a subwoofer because mid-range speakers are not meant to handle a huge amount of bass, so if you put too much to it, they might be rattly and just sound a little distorted at high volumes. So getting a subwoofer, you can ease the tension on your mid-range speakers, and then you can let your subwoofer handle the bass so your speakers can sound the cleanest. So that's all for the updated video on how to make your speakers sound better. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Check out all my other speaker videos. I'll leave a link in the description and right up here to the playlist. I made a bunch of videos how to make your speakers sound better, so check them out, and let me know if they help you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.